Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another one of our real estate math practice questions. If you're new here, we post exam questions on this channel, either submitted by users or from our bank of questions every Monday through Friday. Of course, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, drop them down below. If you want to try these questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for their real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today and this week, we've been going over 28 by 36 row questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So the question states, Lizzie's gross income is $7,050 a month. What is the maximum total household debt she could have to qualify for most loans utilizing the 28 by 36 rule? And then it gives us four options. A, $1,974. B, $2,538, C, $3,679, or D, $6,732. So as always, I'm going to give you guys some time here uh, to think it over, come up with your answer, as well as pause if you need to. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. What's the answer going to be? Well, it's going to be B. That's right. It's $2,538. So according to the 28 by 36 rule, she would need to spend less than $2,538 in total household debt a month to qualify for most loans. Remember, in 28 by 36 rule problems, you need to multiply by either 0.28 or 0.36. If it's total household debt, then guess what? You multiply by 0.36. And again, look at the question. It's asking what is the maximum total household debt. It's giving us it right there. We It's right in front of our eyes. We just have to dissect it and uh, you know pinpoint it, as they say. So from there, math-wise, it's pretty straightforward. We just take that uh, gross income, which again is $7,050. And then we just multiply that by 0.36 because again, we get that 0.36 because of the household debt. And then with that, it's pretty straightforward. We just get that $2,538. And guess what? That's our answer. It's as simple as that. So hopefully you guys understood that one. Hopefully you get that. Hopefully you guys are starting to get, uh, you know, the whole process, you know, this is the fourth one now, so you guys should almost be expert. We got one more uh, problem that has to do with this. It's going to be coming out tomorrow, so make sure to look forward to that as well. And then hopefully by then you guys will be experts on 28 by 36 world problems. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. I'll see you next time.